Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Arm and this week I'm breaking down Instagram stories. Let's get started. Back in 2016, after Facebook lost its bid to take over Snapchat, Instagram updated the world with Insta stories, and majority of people started sharing their pictures and videos with the built-in features. However, 3 years later, we have a new market and style out there. You can either download apps which have built-in packages that you can buy, or there's another way. Now, if you post on Instagram, you know there's three different video types: 1080 by 1080 1080 by 1350 but what we're going to concentrate on is 900 by 1600 this will fill a whole screen just to be transparent this video is sponsored shout out to videohive.net via digital products 669 who provided me with the ultimate story pack for premier pro which currently costs 28 dollars or 22 pound 39 pounds which makes more sense to me these are all pre-built story packs so you don't have to understand or even worry about keyframing or animating anything it's all pre-built and you just have to replace the images and the text with just a few clicks with minimal effort to make your story a banger trust me guys after having a play with this for about a week just for the sheer quantity of what you get from this pack not only saves you time but creatively thinks of ways that you can produce your instagram stories it's well worth a look and the link to this is in the description below once you download and open it up into premiere pro you can have a play with the many many different story packs available the first thing you'll notice is the premiere pro layout is different it's brought in a new window called essential graphics it'll make sense later after you choose one of the story packs and are happy with it You can start making the changes you want to. I've chosen pre-made scene one. And on video layer one, the layer is green. This is because the layer is nested. I'm going to replace the image on video layer one. If you double click the layer, it'll open where the image actually is. You can now replace the image like here. Once you're happy with it, Go back to the original scene and click on video layer 2. This holds all the text and animation. Once you double click on this layer, two windows will change. The source on your left, which you don't have to worry about, and the new essential graphics window on your right. Here is where you can change everything from the text to the size of the box to the color and even the animation. I am however going to change where the text says new arrivals to Instagram and summer collection to story pack. Finally, I'm going to scroll up and locate the scale for the box underneath the word Instagram and increase the size and you're done. It's just that simple. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up so I know it's what you like. As always, thanks for everything guys. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next week.